and to talk to Vika Makami, host Melody as behind the camera. Ni Dixon DK na Leo Bana Niko na Queen. Oh, Maliki, I'm sick. What's your name? What's your Queen? Yeah, that's right. Oh, Maliki, huh? Yeah, yeah. Niko na Maliki, na I'm sick. I'm from Tanzania, and I'm from Amiga, and I'm from Sarafina. But all of a sudden, from Sarafina to Fina. Yeah, and some babu zaki biashara zaidi. Ni meli fufisha jina lang. Toka kwa Sarafina, kwa na Fina. Ulipo kuna toka walisema hundo na kuja ku replace Vanessa Mde kama sija kosea. Unaisu mefikia kwenye ye ndoto? Ndoto ya nani? Na kuziba pengo la Vanessa Mde ama bado tunajitafu. Ni ndoto ya nani? Ya watanzania uya nani? Watanzania walikuwa nasema hundo? Ndoto ya angu. Ndoto ya angu. Bana Vanessa Mde siyo mshinda ni wangu. Ni mtu ambaye na respect kazi ambaye mefanya katika industry. Na ni mtu ambaye ni mejifunza vitu vingi kutoka kwa ke. Kwa hiyo, wa Tanzania ama fans wanapena tukua wanalinganisha. Wakiona kuna vitu chache ama vitu fulani vinaelekeana na mtu fulani wanapenda kuwa wanawanisha. Sio kitu kibaya, lakini nafikiri vile vile kwa sababu hawana reference point ya vitu mbaba wanaviona. I think the only person ambaya likuwa very daring kufanya vitu kama hivi, most probably alikuwa ni Vanessa. So reference point yao kwa sababu hawajazoea wasanii wa kike kufanya hivi wakiona mtu mwingine anafanya inakuwa ni like reference point inakuwa ni kwa Vanessa lakini mimi I have so much respect for her. I really don't want to assume everyone knows you who we talking to. Labda kwa faida ya mtazamaji ambaye inaweza kawa ni mara ya kwanza anakutizama. Tumtambulishe who is sitting here. Fina an artist from 255 Tanzania. I'm a hit maker wa uponyonyo upo titi. Wow. Uponyonyo baka saibi tuko milioni nane. How do you feel? I feel great. I feel great. Uh, my family is growing, so I'm really grateful. Wow. Yuzu mekuwa na media tour wa Kenya. Right. Likondo media tour yako ya kwanza kufanya nje ya nji. Yeah, yeah. What did you learn from it? A lot, actually. Uh, mazuri na mabaya. Lakini sana sana wenzetu pia wanafanya kazi. Yeah. Ipo kolabo ambayo umefanya na Otile Brown uh, Otile Brown ni msana ambayo amekuwa So wakawaida kufanya kolabo zisana Na wasani kujichangaya na wasani Wasani ya amekuwa kipushi ye peke yake Was it hard to work na ye? Hapana, haikuwa ngumu He made it so easy for me Sababu pia nafikiri ya likuwa mesha sikiliza kazi zangu Na me appreciate So ni mtu moja ambayo yuko poa sana So he, he made it very easy for me Ina kolabo labda imeongezea nini ama inaongea nini kwenye maisha yako ya mziki? Unbase yangu uh, imeongezeka, familia yangu ya wakenya pia imekua kwa hiyo uh, unit ambayo amenipatia. Album ya Barnaba wakati imetoka nilikuwa South Africa na nilipata na fasi ya kuzisikiza. Na watu walizirisifika nyimbo nyinga ambazo zirikuwa kwenye hiyo album. Lakini let me tell you that's a dope shit ambayo ulifanya na Barnaba. Tell me the experience of how was it to work with him. Amazing. Amazing. Kwa sababu ni, ni mtu anajua mziki na hamefanya mziki mdamrefu. So hata siku nafanya, nafanya yo nyimbo studio kwake. Ilikuwa ni vocals sana na vitu kama yu. So it was really amazing. I learned a lot from him. Let's talk about Haya. Haya ina wiki mbili, eh? Yeah. Kila nyimbu na yu itoa... Okay, one thing about me notice about you, mostly nimeishi kuwane vitu kwa kina Beyonce, kina Rihanna. Na mtu mungina mekua kifanya hivu kwa hapa Afrika kwetu. Mekua kiwa kama Aira na Tams, mostly. What they do ni yati nyimbo yao inaezika wana kora sambayi inashika kabisa. Lakini nyimbo yaka napo ipaforma na patanga na fast nzuri kabisa ya kuibia mashabiki na wana msikiliza. Ii ipoje hii? Kwa vizuri na shukuru kwa mba mashabiki wana utayari wakupokea kitu ambacho wanakisikia uh, everyday kwenye radio zama kwenye platforms tofauti wanakuwa na utayari wakukisikiliza live kwa hiyo yeah it sits very well with me yeah so ila mwisho kwa sababu manager na nasema mdu naenda um, so ila mwisho ni kuhusu load music msani mweza ako right? yeah juzu kwenye kipindu cha wasafi tv alizungumza wasafi fm sorry kama sija kwa saa alizungumza kuhusu mausiana liyo kuwa na ye kama kuwa mlitengeneza kiki kulikuwa na kuto kuwa na maelewano kuhusu wakata likuwa nataka kuto wa nyimbo ya haki alitumia kama kiki kusema kuwa mko katika mausiano alisema yo 
hajaiona hapa so hakukua na mahusiano yale haijawahi kutokea so you, you also believe in kiki no umeshaniona mimi nafanya kiki so thank you so much for your time thank you let's talk about haya haya ina wiki mbili eh? yeah kila nyimbo unayoitoa Okay, one thing ambayo nime notice about you mostly nimeishi kuona hivi vitu kwa kina Beyonce, kina Rihanna. Uh, na mtu mwingine amekuwa akifanya hivyo kwa hapa Africa kwetu, amekuwa akiwa kama Aira na Tams mostly. What they do ni ati nyimbo yao inaweza ikawa na chorus ambayo inashika kabisa lakini nyimbo yake anapoiperform anapatanga nafasi nzuri kabisa ya kuibia mashabiki na wanamsikiliza. Hii ipoje hii? Kwa vizuri na na nashukuru kwamba mashabiki wana utayari wa kupokea kitu ambacho wanakisikia uh, everyday kwenye radios ama kwenye platforms tofauti wanakuwa na utayari wa kukisikiliza live kwa hiyo yeah it sits very well with me yeah mpaka sasa hivi ulipokuwa unatoka walisema huyu anakuja ku replace Vanessa Mde kama sijakosea unahisi umefikia kwenye yeye ndoto ndoto ya nani kuziba pengo la Vanessa Mde ama bado tunajitafuta. Ni ndoto ya nani? Ya Watanzania au ya nani? Wa Tanzania walikuwa wanasema huyu ndio ndoto yangu. Ndoto yako. Bana Vanessa Mde sio mshindani wangu. Ni mtu ambaye na respect kazi ambayo amefanya katika industry na ni mtu ambaye nimejifunza vitu vingi kutoka kwake. Kwa hiyo wa Tanzania ama fans wanapenda tu kwa wanalinganisha wakiona kuna vitu vichache ama vitu fulani vinaelekeana na mtu fulani wanapenda kuwa wanaoanisha sio kitu kibaya lakini nafikiri vile vile kwa sababu hawana reference point ya vitu ambavyo wanaviona i think the only person ambaye alikuwa very daring kufanya vitu kama hivi uh, most probably alikuwa ni Vanessa so reference point yao kwa sababu hawajazoea wasanii wa kike kufanya hivi wakiona mtu mwingine anafanya inakuwa ni like reference point inakuwa ni kwa Vanessa lakini mimi I have so much respect for her. Wow, mimi album sorry, album ya Barnaba wakati imetoka nilikuwa South Africa na nilipata nafasi ya kuzisikiza. Na watu walizilisifika nyimbo nyingi ambazo zilikuwa kwenye hiyo album. Lakini let me tell you that's a dope shit ambayo ulifanya na Barnaba. Tell me the experience of how was it to work with him? Amazing. Amazing kwa sababu ni ni mtu anajua mziki na amefanya mziki muda mrefu. So hata siku nafanya nafanya hiyo nyimbo studio kwake ilikuwa ni vocals sana na vitu kama hivyo so it was really amazing i learned a lot from him